Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors Weekly, the show in which I wrap up all the DC Comics toy news from the week. Now before we get started with this week's news, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. I sure would appreciate it and also share this content with all of your DC Comic fan friends. I would really, really appreciate it. Now on with the show. Uh, first up this week, we have some brand new news from Funko. The company has announced a brand new vinyl soda figure, this time in the form of Captain Cold. No, it's not from the Flash the TV show. It is actually from the, the comics, which is a neat surprise. Now, this particular Captain Cold is limited to 7,500 pieces. And now, if you're not familiar with the Funko vinyl sodas, these are vinyl figures that come in a soda can. And they're usually limited to a certain amount. And they feature a pog. If you don't know what that is, you might want to Google that up. It's basically from the 90s, a little disc with some artwork on it. And they also could feature a chase version, which this one does, and it is a flocked version of Captain Cold. Just means he has little furry pieces all on top of him in, in a few spots. Of course, this piece will cost you about $12.99, and he should be available soon. He's currently up for pre-order at the normal spots that you would get your Funko stuff. Up next from Inesco is a brand new set of statues called their Oh, here we go. It's French. Couture de Force. Maybe I said that right. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But these are three brand new statues that were just unveiled, which are the Joker, Poison Ivy, and Black Canary. Now, doing a little Google, and the Couture word actually means sewing. I don't know. These are looks like these are all resin statues, so I don't know where sewing comes into that. And unless, unless you look at the statue and you can kind of see that they're going for that elegant gowns on the female statues and, and the suit on the Joker, I guess that's what they're referring to with the sewing word. These statues are around ten inches tall and going to cost you eighty bucks, and they're going to hit this September. But you can currently pre-order those at, of course, the normal spots. Up next from Iron Studios is a brand new one-tenth scale, the Joker from the Dark Knight. Now this statue is based on the likeness of Heath Ledger, and it's going to cost you about $159.99, but it is a very good looking piece, as you can tell from the pictures. The Joker himself looks like Heath Ledger, but the base is not based on anything from the movie. This looks like totally made up stuff, but it still works with this particular statue. According to Iron Studios, the Joker sits on top of a concrete totem pole decorated with sculptures of medieval buffoons buffoons around him, which are symbols of the playing cards that inspired his name. So be on the lookout for that. Up next from Prime One Studios are two brand new statues, Black Canary and Wonder Woman. Now the Black Canary does come in an exclusive and regular version, and the difference being that the heads are different and that the exclusive version does come with a microphone and microphone um, pole and That's the difference the between the two is about fifty dollars so the regular version is going to cost you about eleven hundred dollars and the exclusive version is going to cost you eleven hundred fifty dollars these two statues are currently up for pre-order on prime one studios website and unfortunately they don't release until 2022 but if you're a fan of Black Canary, you might want to go ahead and grab this. These statues from Prime One Studio after the initial purchase tend to go up in value really, really quickly. And then finally next from Prime One Studios is a DC Comics Rebirth Wonder Woman statue. And of course, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's in the thousand dollar price range. But if you're a fan of the DC Comics Rebirth look of Wonder Woman, you're going to want to add this one to your collection as well. Uh, it comes with lots of interchangeable parts and <laughs> Again, if you can look at the image that I'm showing you here, it is absolutely beautiful and will make just an awesome uh, addition to your Wonder Woman collection or your DC Comics collection. And finally for the week, McFarlane Toys has put up a brand new pre-order. This time it is for the Todd McFarlane design Batman variant. Now this is a variant based on the gold label Batman that was just released maybe a month or so ago that was exclusive to Walmart. The primary difference here is the color scheme. This particular Batman has a dark blue and gray color scheme, whereas the gold label that was released exclusively to Walmart has a black and gray scheme. If you bought the first one, is there really a need to buy this one? I don't know. It just depends on how you like your Batman, what color you like your Batman in. If you don't care for the dark blue and the gray, then you might want to skip this one. But if you do want it to add to your McFarland collection because you are a completist, then you must get this one. It is currently up for pre-order on Amazon and Target right now for $24.99. 
All right, that's going to do it for DC Collectors Weekly this week. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, hit that subscribe button and that like button. And also share this content with all of your friends. I sure would appreciate it. You can find me on dccollectors.com each and every day. And also you can find me on social media at DC Collectors on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.